and good morning. Um, I came back to this location that I got yesterday, you know, the, the one where I videoed where I was walking around in my bedroom shoes. So I came over here and I looked and uh, there's really only one main location on this whole place and that was at the three-way intersection that I was standing in, in yesterday. So uh, I went ahead and set traps. I've only set three. I might set one more on the way out. But um, in this portion of, of the series, I want to talk about waxing and dyeing. And I want to talk about uh, dips and spray paint. You know, some people spray paint their traps. But uh, personally, I'm, I'm a wax and dye guy. I just, it's, you know, it's the old way. It just, it works best for me. I've, I've tried dips before, the speed dip. Um, they say that in, you know, 24 hours, the speed dip's ready to go, and you can just go set your traps. That's, that's a lie. There's no such thing as that. I'm sorry. And whoever, whoever supports that belief, <laughs> more power to you but um I tried speed dip my first year you know I thought it'd be a good way to protect my traps and you know so it's pretty much a one shot deal you just do it one time you don't have to worry about it very much anymore unless you start catching a bunch of coons and they wear it off but uh for canine trapping speed dip is is no good in my boot Waxing and dyeing is the only way to go. Um, you know, there's there's a lot of myths around waxing and dyeing also. A lot of people say that um, you, you need to wax and dye your traps. You need to dye them to disguise the trap under the ground. You know, say if dirt blows off or, or an animal finds it or whatever. And the wax is to scent proof your traps okay I'm I'm I don't believe that I don't believe that wax will scent proof your traps I do believe that dyeing and waxing protects the life of your traps um, so wow here I am on location I just started chewing them out but oh well so I think I think that dye fills the pores of your trap, you know, and kind of covers in the pits and stuff and then the wax just makes it smooth to make your trap faster and to protect the metal. Um do I think anything is necessary as far as trapping coyotes or fox or whatever? Do I think anything is necessary to try to really scent proof your trap no I don't because uh, there's a guy here in Lumberton North Carolina that's about 12 12 15 miles from me well actually he's about 20 miles and uh, I taught him how to trap last year when he first started out by himself he was telling me there was no coyotes in his area he, he had tried and tried and done all kinds of stuff and he could not he, he could not get a coyote to come to a trap so, what I done, I told him to send me pictures of his locations, and I told him where to put his traps. Well, during this whole conversation, he was sending me aerial photographs, and I was I was trying to do my best to pick out the correct locations on an aerial photo and tell him where to bed his traps. And in, in the whole while, I never asked him how he prepared his traps well come to find out the guy bought his traps he put them in a the dishwasher and and wash them you know that's that's a common practice i don't do that i use uh i use uh, acetone to cut the grease off of my traps and it it evaporates and leaves no residue so anyway this guy puts his traps in the dishwasher 
washes his traps, takes them outside, sprays them off with a water hose, and puts them up. So he starts setting his traps. So we get into the conversation about location. You know, he's sending me pictures and all. I tell him where to put his traps. He starts catching coyotes. Okay, now this was maybe the end of December, middle of December last year. From the middle of December to the end of February, he, this guy ended up catching 22 coyotes on his line. This year, I, I finally took all of his traps and I, I dyed them and waxed them for him because they were in terrible shape. They were rusted and, and everything. And uh, he's already up to 28 coyotes this year. He's actually doing better than I am. The area that he's at, you know, the locations and all are much better. Wide open fields, small heads of woods. Um, there's an interstate highway there, so you know coyotes will be running that interstate highway, dispersing and trying to find their territories. But um, this guy had not waxed or dyed his traps until this year. And I also made a video with this guy last year where, you know, a lot of people think that coyotes can smell metal under the ground. And that's, you know, that's possible. I guess they can. I don't see why not. Do I think that the smell of metal um, spooks coyotes? Absolutely not. I do not. Uh, year before last, I was on the game land. I set my traps the day after I set my traps. A uh, road grader came through, graded all the roads, pushed up almost every one of my traps. I actually lost two traps. I had to get a um I had to get a metal detector to go back and find the two traps. I only found one. But as I was searching a place where I had caught a coyote, there was a a piece of I, I don't know maybe a one inch steel cable and it was probably eight feet long and it was right in front of a place where I was trapping. I mean literally right there. I found it with the metal detector. Um, and also I made a video with the guy last year that I taught how to trap. He had caught four coats in a set and uh, we were about to rebed the trap and he was he was kind of leveling the dirt out and he felt something in the ground. He picks up about a two foot piece of old log chain. It was rusted. It was directly under his trap. Now all that metal hat did not have wax and dye on it. So would you think that just a straight metal trap with no wax or dye, no dip, no speed dip, no spray paint, you know some folks they spray paint their traps. I, I actually knew one guy that spray painted his traps. But um, do you actually think that the wax and dye is more for scent control or to protect the life of your traps? Personally, I think it's option number two. But um, I also had this one friend that, that would spray paint his traps. Um, February 28th is the last day of trapping season so on march the first or somewhere in that general you know time he would take all of his traps pressure wash them spray paint them black and hang them up on a clothesline to dry after they dried for about a week or so he would take them and hang them in his barn and they stayed there for like what eight months nine months until trapping season started and he he claimed to catch way up you know in the numbers of coats but i found that out to be a lie uh he had told me that he had, he and his trapping buddy had caught you know in the neighborhood of 75 coats which is very good in my area and uh i later found out that they only caught 29 and i actually beat them by myself that year with 34. you know it's it's a big numbers game around here people people want to be big trappers and you know, we're actually small time compared to some people. You know, 30 coyotes a year, that that's nothing compared to, to what some people catch out west, you know. So, 
But anyway, whenever it comes to waxing and dyeing, you know, I, I used to think that it was for scent control and, you know, camouflage under the dirt or whatever. But what if you're sitting in white sand? You know, we don't, we don't dye our traps white. But I've seen pictures of coyotes in traps that were pink. I don't know if that was just a fluke or a, a joke, you know, but I, I've actually seen pictures on the internet of coyotes in pink traps. But uh, And I don't know how they got pink, but either way, waxing and dyeing is my number one way to go. I did try to speed dip one year, my very first year, and the entire month of November and December, I did not catch one animal. Not, not one at all. And, uh, I soaked those traps in acetone, I stripped the speed dip off of them, I waxed and dyed, and in the month of January and February I caught 12 coats. So that proof, you know, proof is in the pudding for me right there. Speed dip's not worth five cent. Uh, if you, uh, who's going to soak their traps in gas and expect to catch coats? I mean, really? That, that doesn't even make sense. Or camp fuel, whatever. But um, anyway, so that's going to conclude this portion of of um, my series. I'm off of night shift. I put out a few traps today, and hopefully tomorrow we'll have a video of an animal. So uh, you guys just take care. Appreciate you watching. Talk to you later.